Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grinding and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a first round arena cutoff for the new Corvus Glaive and Abomination Arena. So first of all, I'm going to say Happy Infinity Wars Day. If you're playing Marvel Contest of Champions, checking out this video, it's likely you're a fan of the MCU and today's a big day as the end of Phase 3 comes together with the first of a Part 2 series of the Infinity War movies are released here in the States anyway. So uh, definitely pumped up about that. Hopefully you'll check it out. Probably throw a video out or two about those. But anyway, today we're talking about the arena cutoffs for the new uh, arena. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I like to do is kind of uh, compare these uh, current arenas to past arenas as it'll help me kind of figure out what kind of results we can uh, kind of expect based off of doing a quick trend analysis. And with Corvus, of course, he's a new champ. But with Abomination for the four-star basic arena, um, there's really... There's really three buckets, but really just two buckets. They're kind of low and medium results, and then high results. And high results are like what we saw recently with Medusa, Mephisto, that crew, and then Abominations, what we see pretty much for the most part for the rest of the champs. Even first-time round champs like Dr. Octopus, who got right around low two millions, um, Abomination, other low interest champs kind of fall on that. But to be clear, Dr. Octopus is a bit higher. So now that I have these categorized, let me jump into some past results. First, looking at some recent low interest four-star basic results. And you can see with Electro, Agent Venom, Falcon, Crossbones, we're all dealing in a very similar kind of a range. I mean, it's from 1.7 to 2 million. That's a very tight window. So that's great to see because it's pretty easy to see the trends and predict what we're going to see for round one. Exceptions can occur, but uh, when, when doing kind of predictions, you kind of got to just go with the trends that are out there and hopefully. Um, those results stick through. Now when we look at four star feature um, results for for new champs, new feature champs, you can see that there's been the steady increase all the way up to 14 million most recently for Proxima or Proxima, sorry, and um, I don't know, it'll be interesting this time around with a Corvus just because Corvus Glaive has a nice synergy with uh, Proxima and um, and there's a steady increase, but a lot of people so far, there's not a lot of information out yet in terms of as a playable champ, but right now there just doesn't seem to be the same hype with Proxima, but her hype really didn't build until after folks got her for a couple days and then that's really when it spiked up when they saw all the uh, special ability um, damage she could do. But anyway, um, I do think the steady increase that we're seeing and might be a good plateau now with Corvus. Then we jump over to the five-star feature champ. Kind of the same thing. You can see we've had the steady incline from Sentinel, from Bishop, Sabretooth, all the way to most recently with the highest we've ever seen, 50 million. That was a crazy number. But then we saw that really crazy low second account or second uh, cutoff, second round cutoff that uh, was just, you know, around 15, 16 million kind of thing. So a lot of people, that 50 million number must scared folks away. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this round. And it's something that's going to be really interesting to see, even though we're looking at these all these trends, what kind of impact will the dungeon have? Because I know a lot of people are really excited about it, including myself. I like going into the dungeon and, uh, you know, getting through all those milestone rewards to get the dust and the, the, the artifact or whatever that other uh, reward is. But anyway, um, a lot of people are spending their gaming time in MCOC doing the dungeon. So what will that take away from the arena? So that's something very important to consider. This is really a first time for that, so not exactly sure. So we're going to have to see here. With that being said, let's take a look. Then, and again, these are the trends. I also would like to take the input from you, the community. So that's why I post those polls out with the uh, polls out with the arena cutoff preview. And uh, so let's first take a look at the, the the results from the first question, which was the four star feature arena. What do you all think the cutoff will be for Corvus Glaive? And you can see, for the most part, everybody thinks it's going to increase. Now, there's not a tremendous uh, majority here. Uh, just 39% with the next being around 30% out of 224 votes. Thank you very much for the folks who took the time to vote. And uh, here's a couple thoughts that some of the voters have. Lewis Crow here puts same comment as for the five-star arena. While Corvus Glaive may be a new champ, he doesn't appear to be as strong as the champ as Proxima Midnight. And uh, I, for the most part, I agree with him on that, but it'll be interesting to see what the general trend of these numbers going higher and higher. I doubt we'll see a dip, but I do think um, in my plateau here we'll see. And uh, beat as he says, new champ. You know, it's a very good point, 13 to 14. That's why, you know, that's, you know, we're right around that same ballpark. And then I think maybe the comment of the uh, the comment of the year goes to Cameron, brings up a, the, probably the most important point, um, 11 million, just 11 million, because he looks like the love child of Deadpool and a goblin. So I agree with Cameron. 
Corvus is not the most prettiest thing to look at, but with all his crit damage, etc., he, um, he's probably a decent champ, and especially with given his a, uh, synergies. We'll see. Now, for the five-star feature, here's uh, the, the got a 259 votes on this one. Uh, very similar, actually, bet between the two. Uh, not a strong majority one way or the other, with most, uh, with 43% leaning to the highest, 50, 50 million plus, thinking they're going to push that Proxima. Prox I did it again, the Proxima uh, cutoff, but uh, the next highest, that next ground, that next group down to 47 to 50 million, which is just above where we were with uh, Sabretooth. So, and here are some of the thoughts on that. Kenny Green came, comes in with the 50 million plus new champ synergy with Proxima. Proxima is a tank with Corvus. This will be another ridiculously high arena. We got Gas Mask Dude coming in with just for Proxima Midnight and other champion synergy. So, his point being that Corvus, or Corvus, yeah, Corvus alone will not drive the numbers high, but. Um, but because he has that decent synergy with Proxima, we'll push the number to a decent amount. We're right around that that number that we saw for Sabretooth. And lastly, Lieutenant Magnum. This is the point that I called out earlier, and, I, and Lieutenant Magnum was the one who you know made me think of it as a great point. Infinity, in, Infinity Dungeons are going to lower these cutoffs. I think that's a good point. He's coming out and just thinking the impact, he or she, actually. We don't know since we don't have a first name with Magnum. But anyway... Um, Lieutenant here thinks that uh, the dungeons will definitely impact the cutoffs. That remains to be seen, but I think it makes a lot of sense because it does take time to get in there and play a little bit, uh, especially if you don't do too well the first couple of times. You might have to go into a number of rooms, a number of dungeons, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I do think there will be an impact. Remains to be seen if it'll be something like people going into the uh, Tier 4 Catalyst, done, you know, uh, Tier 4 Catalyst arenas. Um, doing something like that will it will and those results those impacts are kind of marginal so will that be similar here remains to be seen so with all this input both looking at the trends considering the infinite infinity dungeons now plenty of great content across the game to do just besides arenas as well as your input here are my thoughts for the first round cutoff predictions and this is for the veterans bracket meaning your account's been open for over 61 days so with Corvus five-star feature arena here on the left, I think it's going to come in at 48 million. I don't think it's going to push over Proxima. Um, it might not have been this strong if he didn't have that synergy, but I do think 48 million is kind of where we're going to see that cutoff. So just under Proxima and just above Sabretooth with that top 10% shard tier coming in at 11 million. Then uh, jumping over to the four-star feature arena, I do think we're going to have a similar number. It's easier to get to 14 million a lot for folks these days. So I think that number, and for people that are just worried about the synergies and not so much for the five-star feature, you can get the synergies, um, maybe not as, as uh, impactful, but still get that synergy with um, Proxima by getting that four-star feature. So uh, maybe we'll see. That's why I think that number ought to be around 14 million with a top 10% at 4.2 million. And then jumping over to the four-star basic abomination, I think 1.8, and he'll be lucky to get that. We could be, have a situation where it's going to be hard to get that last, you know, milestone, get that shard tier. You could probably get the shards, uh, that 11 to 25% shard tier for 1.3 million, but if you want to go out and complete the milestones at 1.5, you might be getting in danger zone with uh, actually getting abomination, so kind of keep that in mind if, if you don't need abomination. And then lastly, for the three-star feature arena, I didn't bother to put any trend numbers because these numbers are almost like exactly static. They're almost exactly the same. Round one have been somewhere between 1 million to 1.1 million for new champs. They drop down to like 900 to 1 million. 900,000 to 1 million in round two. 11 to 25 percent, you're looking at 500,000 for that cutoff. These numbers are almost lock solid, so uh, I think no no reason really to, uh, to to think they'll change any. But I will say, given all of this, I will always say you know past results are not 100 percent indicative of what to see for the future, but they give us a, an idea. And here's ba based off of those numbers and your input. Again, these are my uh, predictions for the round one cutoff. What I always like to do, because sometimes the unexpected happens, and we do have a lot of uh, new content going on out there, we, not, so it could have an impact on the arena. We're not exactly sure how. So with that being said, I always like to give a nice grind target, um, something to g give you a little buffer between where uh, the trends show the numbers might land. Um, so you have a, a better chance to protect yourself since you're putting in the time to grind. These numbers should protect you, especially so with Corvus. People might are already going to 58 million. You're already putting up those numbers, going to 51 million. So some people might go to 50. So I think 51 million would be a good stop, place to stop for him. Um, for the four-star feature, I think you need to go to 15 million. For if you want to make sure you get Abomination, go to 2 million. 
And if you want to make sure you get uh, Corvus as a three star, go to 1.2 million. And again, similar to the predictions, these targets are for the veterans bracket. So when it comes to the beginners and the intermediate brackets, I don't have a ton of data. There's, it's hard to really do a trend analysis. There's a lot of volatility just in the pure number of people playing because people move between these brackets all the time. So these are very rough numbers. Um, even rougher than what we have for the uh, the other ones because there's plenty of results for the veterans bracket to base estimates off of. Not the case here, so I just want to see these are really, really rough, ballpark kind of numbers only. Three-star featured in the beginner bracket. You'll need to go around 245 for the four-star basic to get abomination. It says 1.2, but I think in reality 1 million should handle it in the four-star feature, 1.2 million. For the intermediate bracket, 550,000 should work to get Corvus. Four-star basic to get abomination, 800, maybe even 700,000 should be fine. And for the four-star feature, 1.4 million to make sure you get Corvus Glaive. So anyway, these are my thoughts for the intermediate beginner as well as for the veterans bracket. Would love to hear your thoughts on what's coming up. If you have any questions, throw it on down in the comment section as well as any thoughts, especially if they differ. We'd love to have the discussion down in the comment section about uh, why you think that way and we can debate it for sure there. Um, other than that, if you like this video, we really appreciate you uh, clicking that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. Once again, happy Infinity War movie release day. And uh, hopefully if you plan to see the movie, you can actually get into the theater and don't have to worry about the crazy crowds. But uh, other than that, thanks again for stopping by and have a great day.